Hey everyone, welcome home for the holidays. I'm Heather, I'm the Bent Yogi. Today is December 25th. If you celebrate the holiday, Merry Christmas. I'm glad you're here with me today. We're going to get started in child's pose. Come on to your mat and come into your child's pose. Knees wide or together, hands forward or alongside. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Right, just a short practice today. Right, this whole month, short practices every day. Designed intentionally to fit into your life when it feels like you don't have enough time for your practice. You don't have enough time for yourself. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. But here you are. You do have the time. You can allow yourself this time to breathe, to be in your body, to come home. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Soften your shoulders, soften your face, your jaw. Take another big inhale here and a big exhale. And from here, come on up. Sit back over your heels, extend your left leg forward, bring the sole of your right foot somewhere on the inside of your left leg. It might be your left thigh, it might be more like your left calf. And press your left heel forward. You can have a bend in your knee here. Reach your hands up, lift up. Not just reaching your hands up, but lifting up, lifting up out of your hips. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, start to fold forward. Your hands might make it as far as the foot. You might bring your hands alongside. You might add more of a bend to your left knee if you want a little more space. And really, that's so much of what our practice is about, just allowing ourselves a little bit of space to be in our bodies, be present, come home, reconnect with our hearts and our spirits, reconnect with joy. Take a big inhale and a big exhale. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. I've been saying this a lot recently. You don't have to push here. You don't have to force. It is a short practice. You are just allowing yourself a little bit of time. So feel if you can maybe soften your approach and that might carry over off your mat and into your day, into your life. Take one more big inhale and a big exhale. And then come on up. Take your right foot to the outside of your left leg. Set the foot flat and you can keep your left leg extended or you can tuck your left heel, your left foot under your right hip. I like to take both hands to my right knee. Lift yourself up here really long and tall through your spine. And then we'll twist to our right. Left hand on the right knee. Right hand can come back behind you for a little bit of support. Still lifting up and lengthening. Maybe soften your shoulders. Take a big breath in. And a long breath out. And you can keep your left hand on your right knee. Or you can take your left elbow to the outside of the right knee if that works for you. Your gaze can be in line with your shoulders, or you can take your gaze back over your right shoulder. Feel what works, not straining your neck. Take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. Take one more big inhale, and as you exhale, come back to center. Unwrap your legs. You can take both legs out, maybe tap your legs a little bit, move your legs a little bit. And then keep your right leg extended and bring your left foot somewhere on the inside of your right leg here. And again, it might be the thigh, it might be more the calf. Press your right heel forward. Your right leg can be long, but you can have a bend in the knee. Give yourself some room. Reach your arms up, lift up, lift up out of your hips, lengthen, take a big inhale. As you exhale, begin to fold forward. And again, hands might make it to the foot. Hands can come alongside. Right, a bigger bend in the knee, especially if you're noticing a lot of sensation in your low back and your hamstrings, absolutely add a bend to the knee. That'll give you a little more space. 
Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Leading with your heart here. Right, watch out for really rounding, collapsing forward. If you can, lead with your heart here in your practice. And as you move through your day, as you move through this season, take a long breath in. And a big breath out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Once more here, a big inhale. And a big exhale. And then come on up. Set your left foot flat on the outside of your right leg. And you can keep the right leg extended for the twist, or you can tuck your right foot under your left hip. Again, hands to your left knee. Right, allowing some length in your spine, lifting up, and then beginning to twist to your left. Left hand back behind you, right hand on the knee. Letting your spine lengthen. Watch out for rounding. The left hand behind you, the left arm, might make contact with your spine, with your back, and that might help you stay tall and upright here. Your breath, a big inhale. Then a long exhale, and you can keep the hand on the knee or take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee if you feel like you have room for that. Your gaze can stay neutral, or you can take a peek over your left shoulder. Big inhale, then a long exhale. Deep breath in, then a long breath out. Once more, a big inhale. And as you exhale, come on back to center, right? Unwrap your legs. You can extend them out again and tap them up and down a little bit and then come into a seated pose, whatever is comfortable for you. Might be cross-legged, might be sitting on your knees. Set your gaze or close your eyes. You can let your hands land comfortably on your legs. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. I'm taking a moment feeling where you are, feeling what you've done today, every day this month, right? These practices that we are adding in intentionally. So we can come home to our hearts, our bodies, our spirits, to connection and to joy. Take another big inhale. And a long exhale. Take your time here as much time as you like. Thanks for joining me. I'm Heather. I'm the Bent Yogi. Merry Christmas. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And I'll see you tomorrow. Aww.